Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this Laravel for beginners tutorials and in this video guys, we're going to discuss how to um, work with controllers inside our Laravel project and as a sort of review or recap in the previous video, we work on um, how to use the basic routings so we have discussed basic routing in the previous tutorial and like I've said, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss controllers. But firstly, we need some uh, configurations, especially if you are or if you are using the Atom um, code editor. So uh, basically, we're going to install some packages required for us to continue working with our Laravel project. So one thing that we need is the terminal because by default, terminal or the built-in terminal of Atom is not currently installed so we need to install the Atom terminal for this particular code editor so in order for us to do that we need to go to uh, file and then settings and then uh, under packages we can see all the packages installed here in our code editor and in order for us to install, so let's go here in the install section. And then we need to search for uh, Atom Terminal. And then we're going to use this terminal for us to issue command by uh, using the artisan for us to create controllers automatically. So there are a lot of, of terminal available if we search for terminal inside uh, the Atom code editor, but uh, I'm using this one. This is Atom dash terminal 0 0.8.0. .0. So it, accordingly, it opened terminal terminal the current files directory. So whenever we activated this terminal, it will be inside the current files directory. So uh, go ahead and and try to install that. So it is developed by Karen. So as you can see here and this will be our basis and this will be we will be using this to issue commands by using the artisan to to create our controllers automatically so after installing the terminal we can finally issue artisan commands by using the built-in atom terminal and in order for us to activate that we need to press alt shift t in our um, keyboard so control or alt shift t and then this will be or this will open the current files directory which is the name of our project currently is mk or pk project and then from here we can issue the artisan command to create the controllers of our project so let's try to issue command or either uh, issue artisan command to create our controllers so the keyword for that is we need to use the php and then artisan and of course the keyword make next to that is the controller keyword and of course the name of our controller which is pages so for example we're using pages and then pages controller so you, you might want to use this uh, code or i mean the naming notation so all the first letter of the, the word or any word is capitalized so example for this the P in the pages is capitalized and of course the C in controller is capitalized. So every first letter of words in our controller must be like this. Like a naming convention for our controller. So after that, we just need to press enter and then wait for a few seconds. And there you have it, controller created successfully. And then if we try to check our app directory inside here, under um, HTTP and then controllers and then there you can see the pages controller that PHP file has been generated with all the necessary ter uh, terms and code uh, included so we have here the name uh, namespace app HTTP controllers and also it automatically added the illuminate HTTP request and then created a class pages controllers which uh, extends the controller class and any controller that you created should extend the controller class 
and inside here we can create a function or method so a function inside the class is can be called a method also so public function and then index okay so public means that we can access this outside of this class so for now let's just say it will return a text or word index and let's go back to our routes folder and web.php so we have here the index uh, set up like this so instead of using this so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, comment this out and then paste it here so instead of using this function to return our index so let's just try the pages controller or we'll try to use our pages controller here so first let's use the quotations pages controller and add symbol and of course the method or the function that we have defined which is the index and now let's try this in our browser so I'm just gonna uh, save this web.php and go back to our browser and try to refresh so as you can see we are on the root folder or the root directory of our file or our project and then it says the index which is coming from our pages controller and index method so now we want to uh, return the view index instead of this uh, string index so let's go back to our code editor and in here let's go to pages controller and instead of returning the index we just need to return the view and of course it should be under the pages and then the file index so uh, currently I think I think we don't have yet the index.php file so let's just go ahead and create that so under resources so we have here the views so under pages let's just go ahead and uh, create a new file so this should be index.blade that page p and let's just try to copy all the html from welcome.blade.php to our index.blade.php and just we're just going to delete this content from here and i think also the styles all the stylings available here let's just delete this and of course this font and for the title uh, we're going to get back on this later on but for now let's just define a tag here h1 and then welcome to laravel for beginners right there beginners from programming knowledge and then paragraph there you go this is a laravel tutorial series okay so if you try to open up the env file it holds all the connection like the uh, values for our database connection the database name the password username and all other values and also it holds the app name of our project so it currently uh, it says uh, laravel so instead of laravel i'm just going to rename this pk project or programming knowledge project and save that and go back to our index.blade.php so instead of using the laravel as title here let's just use the config file so config and then open close parenthesis and app that name and if that is not available let's just use pk project okay and save that and let's go back to our browser 
and refresh our page so as you can see here we have the new HTML coming from our index.php welcome to Laravel for beginners from programming knowledge so this is a Laravel tutorial series and this reflects all the content from our uh, index.php file so as you can see here the code or the HTML code behind this page okay so for now let's just do the same for our about page so let's just copy this and go to our uh, about.blade.php file so instead of using the about so let's just paste the HTML and let's just change this instead of welcome to Laravel for beginners it should be about and let's just uh, say here that this is the about page and while we're at it we're just going to do the same for our services so we need to add a new page so this will be services that blade that php and paste the html and of course change this into services right and this is the services page right so save that and I think I have misspelled the blade so I just rename this into blade instead of bladed and for our page controller or pages controller we need to define functions as well two other functions for our services and about so instead of index this should be for about so pages that about and this will be for our services so services and save that and in our route file instead of using this routing mechanism so let's just re replace them with our newly updated functions from pages controllers so let's just copy this this will be for about and of course change this into the about method and this will be for our services and this will be services as well so save this and let's go back to our browser and try to check if all are working okay so try to refresh and then let's go to our about page so as you can see here we have uh, updated our about page and of course if you try to go to our services page so services and there you have it this is the service page of our application so i think that's all there is to it for this tutorial and in the next video we're going to discuss how to go about blade templating because currently we're, we're using our html for our about for our services and for our index that php file so we want to reuse and reduce the code for this particular file so we're going to look at how to go about blade templating on the next video thanks